Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. If you've never been here before, then welcome. And to those that have, welcome back. Today, I am going to be reviewing the new Beauty Blender Bounce Foundation. Now, the controversy around this foundation is like bananas. But before we get started into this review, go ahead and click the subscribe button below. Also, turn on your notifications so you never miss another video by me again. And if you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Let's get into this review. Okay, y'all. Like I was saying, the controversy around this little thing right here, this little mama, ooh child, I've seen all kind of things going on swirling in the air about this foundation right here. So you guys have heavily requested for me to review this foundation right here. So this is the Bounce Foundation by Beauty Blender. Um, I went ahead and picked up the color 4.1. Uh, the color above that was too, too light. The color below that is too dark. So I'm hoping this will do me right. So just to give you a couple of specs on this foundation, it says that it's full coverage, um, which actually can go from medium to maximum coverage, meaning that you can layer it and it can take you to maximum coverage. It has a velveteen finish and an antioxidant rich white birch extract. Okay, so we have a few things going on in here. So the packaging is actually pretty cute, not bad. Um, it's pretty much got this mirrored um, silver in the front, pink around, so it's actually kind of cute. So I've gone ahead and unboxed this item. It has a tray here, so once you actually pump it out, which the pump is at the top here, once you actually pump it out, it becomes like your tray, your makeup tray, so you can go ahead and put your beauty blender on there and do that. And then on the back here, it looks like there is a lock which it'll say the bounce foundation. There's a lock here, which it's on lock right now, which is actually kind of innovative. I'm gonna press the unlock button there. Um, so then I can actually pump out. Uh, if the lock button is on, you can't pump anything out. So, I mean, it's innovative packaging. I like the idea of the tray being here. I just feel like it makes things a little bit easier if you're one of those type of people that are like, listen, I just wanna pump, pump, have my stuff, boom and go like this is definitely for you so i think it's innovative packaging i've also never seen uh basically a foundation that has a lock on it either which is actually kind of cool especially if like you're traveling things get mixed up you know um especially since this one doesn't have a top that's why i figured out this one doesn't have a top so anything can push on the top of it and have it pump out so that's why it's really great that they created that lock so nothing can you know basically add pressure to it and push it down so Let's get started into this foundation. So before I start my foundation, I'm going to prep and prime my face with the Tatcha Silk Canvas. And I'm really liking this one. And a little bit really goes a long way. So I just rubbed a little bit. And we're just gonna rub it in this face a little bit. I mean, we always need to prime, honey. Woo! Make sure we lock these pores down. Okay, so again, this color is in 4.1. I'm just gonna do one pump. There it is. And staying true to the Beauty Blender brand, I'm gonna go ahead and use my Beauty Blender and see how I just turn that to its side and then I can just go in. Okay. I'm gonna see how this goes. Okay. Woo. Now mind you, that was only one pump and there's nothing left on my Beauty Blender and it hasn't even really covered half of my face. Okay, okay so I'm gonna go in with my Kevin Aquan foundation brush. I am gonna pump another pump and hopefully this will do the job. Seriously. So, so far this Kevin Aquan brush is working a little bit better in holding the product. It's not just soaking the product up in the beauty blender. Okay, so I've gotten my forehead, pretty much this side of my face, a little bit in here, so I'm gonna have to go in with a third pump. This doesn't dispense very much product at all. Like, you would think it would be a little bit more, but not really. But the brush is doing a lot better, though. So really, all in all, I would say if I would have started out with my brush, then I probably could have pretty much covered my whole face with two pumps. So really, three pumps 
covering my whole face here. If we were just using the brush, it would have been two. I'm actually just gonna come in here a little bit more on my sides. So for me to even do a spot check, that means I'm gonna have to come in for a fourth pump. Let me read this package again. Never dull or greasy, skin gets that pro artist velveteen finish that looks picture perfect IRL in real life or on screen. Okay, so I'm definitely at a medium coverage here, so I'm gonna have to go in with another pump just so I can spot check here because uh, I'm out of foundation. Let's see if this is really buildable to maximum coverage. You know what, that's what I'm gonna do today. Let's see how many pumps and how many layers it takes to get to full coverage, really. Maximum coverage. I don't know about that. Depending on who you're talking to. For me to get maximum coverage, I'm gonna have to go in with another pump. One more to be doing that. I'm not sure if I'm gonna use this whole pump, but let's just see. Because I really am trying to make sure that I'm getting that maximum coverage on my cheeks. Like, I don't need total maximum coverage everywhere, but I definitely need it just on my cheeks. I have scars that I'm still dealing with. So, you know, I just wanna make sure that my cheeks are covered. Let me go in with the Beauty Blender, see if I can spot check on my side here. If I can do that. Hold <laughs> up. Something's happening with this foundation right now. Holy, but now it's starting to gray. Like, look at my chin and this area. Look in here, like it's, I don't know if you guys can see this on camera. I don't know if my camera's reading it, but it's literally turning gray. No. I didn't want that to start happening. Come on, sis. Like, this foundation is oxidizing like a mug. Like, it is, but right before my eyes, this foundation is oxidizing. <laughs> like, what's happening? Oh Jesus, fix it. Oh Jesus, fix it. This foundation is starting to gray out. Now this is 4.1, though it does have olive undertones. The next color 4.2 was too dark for me, period. Even though it says it's warm tones, it was like too orangey. And then there's only like five shades after me, after 4.1, so it's like, what the? Like you guys, this is my first time using this. I did not know all of this was gonna be happening. I mean, I heard the controversy as far as the shade range. I just didn't know that things be oxidizing like that. Not cute. You know, I'm going to try to fix this the best way that I can because this is really graying out. I'm going to continue with this foundation. So let's try to warm this up so i'm going to take my nars radiant concealer in the color cacao there's a lot of pink in this foundation as well it's a lot of pink okay so i'm going to go back in with my beauty blender and we are going to basically blend this out let's just see i'm testing the formula too so let's just see how the formula is i'm really trying to give this foundation a chance but right now it looks like it's drawing out really dull. It doesn't have a pop on my skin whatsoever. It's not giving me like life. It's not giving me color. It's not giving me what I need in life right now. I'm gonna have to beat this face for real today to like pull it together. The NARS Radiant Concealer is working, but the thing is, what if I didn't want to contour? What if I was like, I should be able to just put on my foundation and keep it pushing? But with this color, like I have to contour, like I have no choice but to contour and warm up my face. Using this foundation alone ain't gonna fly. Ooh, thank God for NARS. So now we need to blank out these under eyes. We're gonna come in with another NARS Radiant Concealer and this is in the color Carmel. And I'm just gonna go underneath. Now Carmel has a beautiful, as you can see, golden undertones, okay. Hello. Take me back to the yellow brick road, honey. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna come in with the new Beauty Blender and I'm going to bounce that Beauty Blender on my face. These two radiant concealers are basically saving my life though right now. So next I'm gonna come in with my Veil Translucent Setting Powder. This is by Hourglass. I love this one. It has very golden, yellow undertones of this powder is a translucent universal translucent powder so i'm gonna go in with this i'm gonna go under here 
and I'm gonna bake her out a little bit. And with this powder, a little bit goes a long way, honey. You guys know I love the other end of this powder brush. Oof. Get right up in my edges right quick. See, eh, eh, er, eh, er, eh, eh, ah. So now I'm gonna dust off the rest of my powder here. Now that it's, I've baked for just a couple of minutes in here. And let's see if Jesus was answering my prayers and fixed this situation. I am going to go ahead and finish my face off camera and I'm going to let you guys know what I really and truly think about this foundation. Okay, you guys, I am back with my final thoughts on this one and I'm gonna just be real brutal and honest. It says that this foundation retails for $40. Is this something you wanna run out and buy? Nair, you don't. Don't waste your money on this one. I'm just a little taken aback that there's 40 shades and I can't find one. And for me, if I can't find my shade and there's 40 shades, then we might have a problem. I hope that they can come in and not necessarily expand their shade range, but if they can change up some of the colors and take out some of these olive and gray undertones would be great. And as far as our deeper tones, um, I'm gonna just be honest about that too. Not okay, not cool, we're in 2018. It's just not all right. It's just not. You can't have 35, you know, light medium shades. That's basically what it comes down to. And then you have five, sort of you know deep shades two of them are red as hell it's not inclusive whatsoever so i can't find my shade deeper skin girls can't find their shade and more knows who else this turns to pink and gray on so the formulation i'm taking better look at it it's starting to break up in my forehead already and it's already starting to uh sit in my creases already hey i tried it for myself i see what it is and it ain't I can't <laughs> it's just I really can't with this foundation I wanted it to win I wanted it to win honey I wanted bounce with foundation to win but this ain't a win today honey sometimes you got to lose some to win some you know what I'm saying thank you guys again for watching I hope that you like this video if you did please give it a thumbs up and also don't forget to subscribe to the K family, the K crew, the Kamani crew. And also don't forget to turn on your notifications so you never miss any of my videos ever again because you don't want to miss any of them. Till next time, peace and love. Mwah.